If you grew up in the mid 2000s and spent a lot of your time on the deeper parts of the internet, nah, there stick is figure a death good theater chance that you remember this iconic sound not much else. and visual. Nope. Seems like a basic flash animation. Thanks, give some but quite a number of people were talking about it at the time, and there's a chance you were one of those people who clicked on this, wondering what all the fuss was about. Why does something so useless? Exist? I had never saw this in and my then life. It hits you like a train. Now there are more windows popping up displaying the same animation, and it's much louder. And you can't press the little X on your browser because the windows are moving all over the place. And when you do catch one, the windows just multiply. You try using this seems like a cool site though. Control Q, but that doesn't shut down your browser. It just creates even more of these windows. Before you know it, there are dozens, if not hundreds, of browsers just Wait, this is on awesome. your screen. It's too loud to even concentrate. No hotkeys or buttons work anymore. Your computer is using Thanks so many Ashley. resources, it can barely operate at a functional speed. But you didn't know any better. A YouTube comment told you about this, and its sense of urgency just really picked at your curiosity. But now you wish you had just done what you've been told, and now there's no escape. Thanks, for, time. Uh, thanks for the tier one roomie. Pressing hard on the power button. And now everything seems to be back to normal. But then you realize that history paper you left open. It's due tomorrow, and you never got a chance to save. And now all of your hours of hard work is gone. You really are an idiot. You really shouldn't feel all that bad, though, as you are not alone. The I've never heard of this. The Trojan Horse, also known by its official name, Office, infected as many as 100,000 computers. And it all happened it from a website? It was now making its way around the internet as a topic of heated discussion. A subject people immediately regretted becoming acquainted with, its presence just continued to grow. It wasn't long until people were claiming that their entire hard drives were being permanently erased and damaged beyond repair. What Damn. exactly was going on? Imagine getting fucked by a How website called youareanidiot.org. Go from exhausting tech support threads within online forums into becoming an internet legend. You think I it think still exists if I go to it right now if I get fucked? What makes this particular computer virus very interesting? The answer is, we don't know. We need to go all the way back to the year 2002. That was a good year. Buccaneers won the, the Super Bowl that year, and I was a big sports fan. Phase with the vestiges of the 90s, but it is growing at an alarming rate, as well as getting smarter and more sophisticated the prime every day. This goes for both the technological aspects of the internet, as well as human behavior. Proving on user convenience, God, new grounds was it was good. learning to solve problems users had been yearning to get fixed for years, as well as solving problems users didn't even know that they had. As malware developers were learning from their past mistakes, and you are an idiot was a symptom of that. But to really see how and why this was the case requires going into detail on how the virus rose to prominence and how it actually worked. The earliest form of the no, never heard of showed Wood. up in early 2002, originally known by its more official name, Office, and it first appeared on a website. The website in question is debated, as Fuck. secondary sources of the Give time the either truth. lack information or just completely conflict with each other. The theory is that it came from what I like to call an uh, ooh-la-la website. This hey, is let's a go. Uh -oh. YouTube video, but I'm sure you can fill in the blanks. But it makes perfect sense why you would want to put a malicious program here. It is a great place to quickly gain notoriety. I mean, adult websites have been around since forever. Are desperate, are in a certain mood that makes them do stupid things Not that really. otherwise wouldn't do. Like click on going a to a porn ad. site doesn't turn this you into a fucking idiot. Ultimately, got people talking about it. Or maybe it does. The program I don't know. wouldn't really start to take off. Everyone's until horniness is different. Later. When it is reposted on a new website, you don't know who I am. org. This is the earliest confirmed record of you are an idiot's existence. There it's been like 20 years now. Whoever made this should just come together. forward. 
because at the Say, end of the day, hey guys, I did how it. did anyone even know that this weird long domain name existed in the first place? So what did the virus actually do? Well, it wasn't technically a virus at all. It didn't use your computer to replicate itself and spread to other ones. It was a Trojan horse, a program that pretends to look nice and innocent, but causes harm to your computer once you activate it. But of course, the vernacular for layman computer users is to call anything malicious a virus, so people just stuck with that. No. We mentioned that this virus was one of many components which formed from the early internet's ongoing evolution. What was the first big and computer worm they called it? Relatively new technology we watched the whole video was on it. Becoming more complex what was it called? Year. This technology is called JavaScript. This wasn't just writing code. Oh, I love you. This yeah, was, that was the, the one. closest thing you could get to making something that was alive. Something that could almost think for itself. With JavaScript, you were playing God on the internet. So with why JavaScript, use it you could make RuneScape. Mayhem as well. But this virus didn't just take advantage of that. It also had another somewhat new and growing technology under its sleeve. Thanks, every sub kid. The Flash Player. Combine these two forces and you are virtually unstoppable. Any user curious enough to click on the website's window would be greeted with the famous animation we've all grown to recognize. Oh god, incoming ad. Thanks to the JavaScript. God, I am the idiot now. I, I don't know how anyone uses the internet without an ad block. I really don't. I really fucking don't. Any further attempt to exit the page, whether it be by refreshing or clicking the X button, will spawn six more smaller windows displaying the same animation, all playing at once. You're not getting off that easy though. The script has programmed the windows to bounce around the page, so good luck exiting out. And even if you do get rid of one, six more will pop up once again. You now have 11 windows on your computer calling you an idiot and your speakers are just getting louder. You try using some hotkeys to forcefully shut down your browser, but now you just have text windows calling you an idiot as well. Before you know it, the windows have- I would have absolutely panicked if I fell for this back in the day are when being I was a kid. Up. Your system is so slow, you can barely even move the mouse anymore. You can't even open Task Manager, it's so slow. Now you have no choice but to take the last resort and shut down your computer through physically pushing the power button. Word was now really getting around about the program. I don't know how I didn't ever hear from about those it. Trying to warn other users about it, or through dares and chain letters. Many users claim that the program would even delete all the files from your computer and cause irreversible damage. I imagine that wasn't but it true had though. Quickly come out that these claims were false. Yeah. At least for the version of the virus directly from the website. <clears throat> but at the same time, they kind of weren't. The virus may not have gone in and deleted stuff itself, but its invasive existence often left users with no choice but to jump ship. The damage was indirect. Users were typically forced to shut down their computer. Was there really no other way of, of stopping it? Would be back to you just had to force that. quit? That data was lost. Forever. Damn, that's crazy. And if you that's were powerful. really unlucky, you could even end up with a version of the virus that was programmed to activate at startup. Oh. In that case, you were pretty much doomed. It all just depended on what version of the virus you got. <laughs> Wait, so Where? what do you do in that case? Luckily, there were some hey, hold on. Surely, uh, I've seen a lot of people in chat mention that they fell for this. Did anyone get that version where on startup it also activates again? Because then at that point, how do you fix it? Like, boot into safe mode and, I don't know, pray for the best? Okay, so it is boot safe mode and then reg at it. Re reinstalling operating system. Okay, there should be some other steps that you consider before just fucking nuking it. We have some real defeatists in here, get rid of the computer and shit. Like, uh, you just visited a website and now you're just being called an idiot. Surely there's a way around it. I don't think it was going to brick your computer forever. I, I can't believe I'd never heard of this. I was perpetually online in the early 2000s. I even played, like, some of the weird, obscure games from back in the day, like, um... There was a whole underground community on a game called Tronmageddon? Might have been Tronmageddon? Fuck, I don't even remember now, but yeah, I, I was all over the internet. I'm shocked I never even heard of this. ...prevented You Are an Idiot from becoming as devastating as it could have been. XP was arguably the safest OS that you would want to get this Trojan on. This possibly could even be a reason for why the virus didn't infect that many people. 
By 2003, Windows XP, XP had was so good. OS market share and was already statistically significant the year prior. A lot of people, and eventually most of them, were using the safe operating system. You are an idiot was nothing more than a practical joke to pull on your friends if you knew what you were doing. In 2004, a new website was dedicated to the program, youareanidiot.org, created by Andrew Regner. It was a mirror version of You Don't Know Who I Am, which had now been bought out by another company. Really? This new site included a much safer Why? version of Why would you buy a while still obnoxious buy a Trojan and continue to fool people, for a porn site? Did not use no one will ever go back to your porn site. Resources. It allowed the program to be preserved as a sort of Kai. internet artifact, and its influence would spread to YouTube in 2006, where it would soon become a joke for a whole other community. Based on the reactions of many people, that was a reason to be afraid. There was but nothing to fear on the internet. Just a bunch of idiots. Up, it all turned out not Cowards. to be that bad. And rather than be afraid of this sudden constant change, instead we can not only continue to learn from it, but maybe sometimes even laugh about it. And now it is time to actually see the program in action. Let's go! I'm going to be a time doing something capsule. a little different this time. I will be demonstrating this malware twice on two different versions of Windows, Windows 2000 Laser one and Windows tickler. XP, just to really show how significant of a difference the OS can make on the level of severity that this virus can have. It's a, you said As yourself always, it's a Trojan. Please make sure you confidently know what you are doing before even attempting to run a program like this. Whether it's benign or not, you never know what can happen. Be safe. With that being said, Oh my god. <laughs> Incredible ad placement. That was fantastic. He hit me with the, you are an idiot, here's an ad. Nice. Let's get started. As you can see here, I am currently running Windows 2000. Thanks a bit, Maranami. my clock, it is the night of New Year's Eve 2002. And now we are going to what a year. the website what a year. containing the Trojan. Let's go ahead and open Internet Explorer. Man, you remember now Internet Explorer? Hearing about you don't know who I am. What a piece of shit! Being told to go on it, you have no idea what it is, but your curiosity is taking over. Here we go. Let's surf the web. Here I come. Now here is the flash video, which plays on loop indefinitely. Just as the user realizes that the website is nothing special and they start to get a headache, they will go ahead and X out. Uh-oh, uh -oh, shit! That is way louder than I expected. Ouch. Okay. As they thought see, of everything! It's going to be quite difficult catching these windows to close them. And once you do, you are going to get six more. Look at that. The more I do this, the more these windows will grow exponentially. Whoa. Six windows times six more windows, and so on. I'm currently pressing all F4, but it's not shutting down. It's just adding more of the windows. This is pretty cool. Wow. Look at that. Well, as you can see, I've gotten myself in kind of a predicament here. We've tried everything else, and it didn't close. Now we're going to do a force program shutdown with Task Manager. I can't even open Task Manager. It's so stuck. Okay, we got Task Manager open. Let's go ahead and end all the processes. Hopefully they thought of something for this. Oh, nice, they did. Destroys the computer. Well, it's gone. Kills the user. And the OS is hung. Can't click anything. Nothing. For a user, this would often be the point of no return. Now you're gonna have to shut the computer down physically. If you have any work open, let's hope you saved. As I mentioned, you were much better off in terms of saving your data if you were running this program on XP. Of course, your results may vary depending on your hardware, RAM allocation, how many processes you have running, and a million other things. There's no official data to confirm Things that this is the case, but based on Nifty what I've tested, the I really do believe this is true. 
and you should always believe everything that I say because I know everything. Now True. let's go run this in XP. Same as before. Go to our website. Flash animation. Let's go ahead and generate more of these windows, like last time. <laughs> right click, close group. Well, that was easy. Oh. That didn't work. I forgot. Okay. Still not working. I would have absolutely fallen Last victim manager. to this and just immediately panicked, shit my pants, and I don't know, probably would have gotten rid of the computer, given up on it. There we go. As you can see, we didn't have to shut anything down. Oh. Windows XP 1, Windows 2000, 0. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, Windows XP was so fucking cool, man. Bell. So they also had really fun games. They had that, like, space pinball with that goofball in the spaceship. That guy was awesome. Yeah, Solitaire was alright, too, but this pinball one, I think, was their best work. Can you go on the You Are an Idiot, Can you go on the you Are an Idiot site to see if it still works? No, I already know. It'd probably fuck me up. Make sure to smash that like button and thumbs up, ring the bell, tell your mom I said hi. Yeah, that's about it. See ya.